Question 7. Anthony's Exotic Motor Rental charges $25 deposit plus $30 per hour to rent a Lamborghini. John recalls that he was billed over $175. How long did he have the car? Okay. So, um, a few things to work out here, but what I'd like you to do is if you could try to write out some sort of a sentence. So, he was billed over $175 and we have to figure out how long, how many hours did he have the car. So the question is how many hours did he have the car, right? So one thing we can say is if we write this down, the bill was over $175, right? Okay. Now what does the bill consist of? The bill consists of what? A $25 deposit, right? Now what does that mean? What does deposit mean? It, it means you just pay it one time, basically, right? A one-time fee. So the bill consists of twenty-five dollars plus plus thirty dollars per hour, right? Now let's let's uh, look at that. Thirty dollars per hour. What is you know what does that mean as regards the bill? Thirty dollars per hour. Well, it means what if you went two hours, right? If you went, if you were, if you, if you were using it for two hours, what what would that mean? At uh, thirty dollars per hour, it would mean you'd get thirty times. You would calculate thirty times two, right? Or if you were using it for um, five hours, the bill would be. This would calculate thirty dollars per hour means you would calculate thirty times five, right? So you agree with me that thirty dollars per hour means thirty times the number of hours. Do you agree with that? Okay. So the bill is twenty-five one-off fee plus thirty times the number of hours. Okay. And the bill. So this is the bill here, right? This is the bill. Okay. And the bill was over. The bill was over one seventy-five. Okay. Now, what? How would you interpret was over? The bill was over one seventy-five. What's another way to say that? It was more than, right? The bill was more than. So the bill was more than this number one seven five. Okay. So now we're getting closer to a math equation, aren't we? Right. So we're just translating real life to algebra, then solving it and interpreting it back into real life again. So we've got 25 plus, and now instead of going 30 times the number of hours, which we could do that just for fun if you wanted to, we ought, we usually just stick a letter here for the um, for the variable, right? And let, let's we could do x, you could do t, you could do h, whatever h for number of hours. How about that? Greater than 175, and then you just need to solve that inequality, right? So we're going to subtract 25 and we get 30h greater than 150. Okay. So if we subtract from both sides, the inequality stays the same direction. Now we need to divide by a positive 30 and we get h greater than what? 150 over 30? 5, right? H squared and 5 is the answer. What does H represent? H represented number of hours. So how long did he have the car? What's the answer? H squared and 5 translates in back into English, it translates to more than 5 hours. Okay? So we started with a problem in English in real life. We translated into algebra. We used algebra to solve the problem, and then we translate it back into English, and the answer is more than five hours. Okay. Of course, these are simple numbers, and um, you might say, "Well, what's the point in that?" Well, the point is, you know, like it could be a little bit more um, complicated. You could have decimals in there. Um, you could also might also want to write a computer program that would use this uh, formula and things like that. But in any case, just a little bit of fun is all, is all that was. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and um, and there we go.